STL Cutlass back at you. Uh, made a video for y'all earlier. Um, uh, me installing the dual exhaust on the 87 Cutlass. Um, so I was getting ready to start putting the dual exhaust on and ran into a little issue. Um, checked the radiator fluid and it was like a pink substance. Looked like a Pepto Bismol color. You can see I drained it in this bucket here. Um, it had uh, transmission fluid uh, leaking in the uh, radiator. Um, I'm making this video in case some of you guys, you know, have this model car. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, just some things you can do to kind of check to see if your block is all right. Uh, uh, you know, kind of just pinpoint some some areas, you know, to make sure that your motor is good and, and where, where your problem is coming from. So, uh, basically... Um, I came over and checked my uh, dipstick for my oil. Because normally when you see a milky substance, it's normally a light brown. You know what I mean? Um, you know, milky shake looking color. Um, but this one is not. It's not. But normally when your heads is bad or your block has had oil running through it, crack or whatever, it's kind of milky color. This is not. This is just a regular color of oil. So that lets me know that my oil and, and water is not mixing, which is a good thing. Um, also, being that it's a pinkish color, I wanted to know, you know, I wanted to check my transmission color uh, and know how that looked. And as you can see, transmission line uh, fluid, I mean, excuse me, transmission fluid good. So, I have a milky pinkish color coming out of my radiator and it's also in my uh, heater coil. So basically what that's telling me, being that my block is good, these transmission lines here that goes into these radiator ports, you have a transmission line here. If you can see that that transmission fluid looks like transmission fluid. Then up here at the top, you don't really see a trace of transmission fluid, which lets me know that water and transmission fluid is leaking from that top port. So either one, I'm going to buy a new radiator or either two. Uh, I'll just put some rubber seals in to see if that'll help uh, the leak and stop the leak. Not help, but actually stop. Um, if not, then I'll just go ahead and purchase a, a brand new radiator. Um, I'd rather have a life of my motor than, uh, you know, kind of cut corners. So um, I'll keep you guys updated. Unfortunately, right now, I haven't moved to the dual exhaust yet because uh, <laughs> I had this issue. So once I get this squared away, I upload the video. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, Nothing but positivity, but let me know what I could have did different or what to help you guys uh, if I missed anything. Um, all right. St. Louis Cup, STL Cup signing out.